we are getting a little bit further. Now we want to um, create some uh, glossiness here by going to the paint channel and create new. This time we go for gloss. This can actually be smaller in size because we don't really need that need it that big. And let's call it gloss. It's gonna appear over here in just a second. Yep. Here it is. Well when we get the white color, you will see now what happens when I paint. Get a bigger brush, start painting with this. This will give us a wet surface, and this is the effect we want to get for the red part of our mesh, and then the white we will not have this effect. This is how we create our material. Okay, um, we are happy with what we have right now. So, uh, we have to export our texture and the maps we create. Let's start with a normal map. Go to Maps, Extract Texture Map, New Operation. It will come up and Go for a normal map. And here you have by default level 0 is your uh, target model. This is the low poly model. And then level 6 is the high poly model with the source model where the details will be, will be taken from. Here you can use this as it is. This one we can change to 3ds Max because we are going to use it in 3ds Max. Size of the texture, I suggest that you use something bigger. Let's say for the purpose of this exercise, we can use this one, 2048. Um, here we have to select, to choose a folder where we want to save our file. The file will be, will be called um, human body normal map save here the higher the number of this option you choose the better the, the normal map so let's put it 2 now but maybe you want to use 4, 6 or 8 it will just take too long time now so let's wait a little bit it's not going to take too long right now but when you experiment with your textures, feel free to go for a bit higher resolution. Here shows how it's how it's moving. 50%, 60%, almost there. Here is our model that looks a little bit strange right now. Why does it look strange? Let me explain it. Here a new section appeared called normal mapping. Here is our our texture, the diffuse. Let me close this one. Here we have the diffuse, we have the gloss that we created, and now we have the normal map. By pressing page down, let's go back to level zero. Where we will lose all the details of our mesh. Yeah. Let's apply the normal map now and see what happens. Um, see all this detail?
What do you think? Bring it back to normal map. Bring the glass. Bring the diffuse. Here it is. We have our normal map, our glass map, and our diffuse map. Let's open the diffuse map, right click, and go export channel to PSD. Now we have to save it. Human body diffuse. You have to open up Photoshop now. Yeah, here it is. These are all the layers that we create in Notebox appeared in Photoshop. So you can easily select and deselect layers and blend them, whatever you want to do. Um, now we want to deselect the, the top layer which is actually the, the wireframe, because when we apply this texture in 3ds Max, we'll actually include the grid over the texture. We don't want that. We go to Save. Go back here. Reimport. We didn't do any changes though, but if we created some changes in Photoshop and save the file, it, they will automatically be applied here. Um, now we go and do the same with the glossiness because we want that map. Export channel to PSD. Video tutorials, we just call it human body gloss. Save. Here it is. Looks like a scary monster. Uh, we go to save file, save, reimport. We don't do any changes, but let's reimport it. Uh, and then close the window. Now we have our normal map, our gloss, and our texture map. What we want to do now is actually control, control A. We'll select your model. We'll select everything in your scene. And since we have only one model, we'll select only that model. Now we go to File, Export Selection. We want to export that model as an object file back to 3ds Max. Human Low Poly. Let's just go inside here. Human Low Poly. We go to 3ds Max. This is our old mesh. We can also apply the texture over here though. But since we changed our basic mesh a little bit, it's better if we import the, the mesh that we just created. I will just import the new mesh. Import. This is the mesh we want to import. Open. Everything is default. Import. And it's right here. Actually, both of the meshes appeared on top of each other. We are moving this one here. See, it's almost no changes, like this is our new mesh, and this is our old mesh. And they look almost the same, so I don't expect to see much of a difference when I apply the material by pressing M. We open up the material editor, select the first material or any other, go to diffuse,
this map. And get human body diffuse. Collapse all layers. Then now we apply the diffuse, open the maps here, and we go to bump mapping. From here, remember to choose normal bump. And here from normal, we have to pick up the bitmap. And then we go and find our bitmap file. All file formats. Human body normal map. Open. It was in this map. Bitmap. Goes. And the same goes in this map. We are going to use a, a specular map too. Copy. Try out some different values for specular level and glossiness in order to get the best result for your material. Let's get this material and apply it to both of the models. Render. So this is our low poly model now. You can increase the bump as much as you like it. It's uh, by default set up to 30. Render again. This is what I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, guys, just write a comment. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.